Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Arc Live. I'm your host, D-Pity, and we got some special guests today. Uh, introduce yourselves to, uh, to the audience. Yeah, all right. I'm Jonah, and um, I'm mostly known for being a Blaze Blue player, but I, I have played Persona a lot in the past, as many of you might know. And that, you know, you may or may not know about Breaker Dave over here, too. Yes, we Breaker Dave. Uh, fourth place, Evo 2014, I yeah. believe. <laughs> Something like that. Um, defeated Stun Edge in top eight. No, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I have to mention that part. Yeah, you always have to mention uh, that. But I also play Blaze Blue, Unist, Uniel. Nice, very cool. So, are, are you guys primar um, predominantly uh, anime fighters? Do you guys play a lot of anime fighters? Absolutely, yes. We're um, we're that's our main field of practice here. And he's moving on to DBFZ too. Yep. And uh, trying to see how we can do in that one. Ah, sweet. Yeah. So, um, as a lot of you guys know, uh, we have a lot of uh, there's Persona characters and there's a lot of Uni characters in uh, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. So. I thought it'd be really cool to get uh, these guys to come in and uh, see the differences between um, the gameplay mechanics from those games and how they were ported into this game and how they work mechanically and um, with, the, with the new gameplay and stuff. So yeah. you guys played a, a little bit a um, couple, couple of minutes ago, right? What, yeah. what do you guys have any early thoughts about uh, Cross Tag Battle so far? Well, it reminds me more of Persona than Uni for sure. Mm, mm. Mainly in that it's like two, like a lot of two buttons inputs, like with DP and, and like all those other, and you know, all sorts of other functions that there are. It's, it really reminds me, and it's, it's like the whole thing about Persona is that it was supposed to be a little more simplified for players to get into. Mm -hmm. And um, the button layout and the control scheme really made it apparent. And when, um, when I'm playing this, it definitely reminds me that they're trying to take the same approach with this game too. So um, it, it feels a lot like how they're doing with Persona right now, at the very least. And But at the same time, like when I play the game, it, it does feel like Blaze Blue in a sense, like when I'm like moving around and doing things like that. So I think it's really cool how I can see all those elements in, my, in the other games in there. It seems better to be on the ground than in the air in general. You're mm -hmm. moving really slowly in the air. Um, your aerial movement isn't like a blaze blue aerial movement, so almost like Aquapaza, I want to say. <laughs> um, and assists are really strong, obviously, in this game, uh, but they have long cooldowns, so... Oh, I see. A badly used assist could really hurt you, yeah, so I... far, it seems. Mm, okay, cool. Well, um, yeah, I know there's a, there's a lot of people who are joining us uh, today because we're actually giving out um, some codes for uh, the latest iteration of Undernight Inbirth. Um, so um, they're gonna be giving out four codes throughout the stream, so make sure you stick around till the very end. Our, uh, our mod who's in the chat right now is gonna be picking out those four winners, and we're gonna be announcing the winners at the very end of the stream. So uh, make sure you stick around. If uh, you have a friend who's thinking of, um, who really wants to play the game, you know, get them in the chat, or you can win, that, you can win it for them too. But, uh, but yeah, stick around till the very end. And, um, we're gonna be talking about uh, some uh, an event coming uh, the next week, Anime Ascension, um, yeah. and uh, Undernight Inbirth is also gonna be one of the main games, as well as our uh, Guilty Gear Rev Two and uh, Blaze Blue Central Fiction. Those are gonna be uh, main games. Are you guys entering any um, any of the main games? Absolutely, well, I'm entering Blaze Blue, and he's gonna enter three games. Yeah, you three did, games. Yeah, you <laughs> just, uh, Blaze Blue, Dragon Ball. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. So, we we both don't play Guilty Gear, but we do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like okay, okay. We, we dabble in Guilty Gear. But cool. That's putting it like very nicely. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So um, that's uh gonna be next weekend. So make sure um, if you guys are in anime fighters or just fighting games in general, and you guys are in the SoCal area that week, uh, be sure to uh, come by uh, uh to Anime Ascension. Um. Blaze Blue uh, Cross Tag Battle is also going to be making an uh, appearance there as a playable demo. So if you want to get your hands on that game, uh, be sure to uh, to come by um, and um, and also enter and meet a bunch of um, anime fighting enthusiasts like like these two. Yeah. Get a shot at the pot bonuses. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a two thousand yeah. dollar pot bonus. Um, so uh, big ups to uh, Axis Games for uh, for hosting that event and. Um, Back to uh, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. There was an announcement 
Uh, last week, Friday, um, the guys in Arc, Arc Systems in Japan announced uh, DLC pack char char uh, DLC character pack number two, which has a uh, Blaze Blues Jubei, um, Aegis from uh, Persona 4 Arena, and also Carmine from uh, from Uni. So, what do you guys uh, think of those additions? I really think that that DLC pack is really cool because it kind of threw a curveball for a lot of people because uh -huh. it went out of the order of what it seemed like mm -hmm. the characters were going in when they were releasing them. Like Igis, for example, she was uh, they were releasing it in the order of the investigation team oh. until like Igis came up. But then I actually looked deeper into that and then I realized that um, she was actually the fifth character or the sixth character that was announced for Persona 4 Arena and not the other investigation team members. So they're going in that order, which I think is really cool. Mm. And then um, Juve, yeah, that was a... Uh, it was surprising, at the, like, for right now, I think, uh -huh. because uh, I guess it, it makes sense in the long run because he did come out really late in Blaze Blue's timeline. Mm, yeah. And I feel like he was a character that everyone asked for since the very beginning and, like, 2009, 2008, when Blaze Blue first came out. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I feel like, yeah, they, I bet they probably realized, yeah, it would probably be a waste to, you know, not include him after all that time and all that excitement. That's the one character I said, why they need to release Jubei. Jubei? Yeah. yeah. Cool, and what, what do you guys think of Carmine? It makes sense, because makes sense. <laughs> they have basically one of every faction in Unist already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they have, like, well, I think Orye's uh, announced, right? Yeah, yeah she Orye's was the, recent, the, the last... Let me, let me uh, grab my notes. <laughs> oh, you had notes. Breaker for Day brought some notes. He's prepared for this stream. Because they released, obviously, two main characters, Hyde mm -hmm. and Lin. Yeah. yeah. Um, you have Wald, who's like the avoid. Mm -hmm. So they didn't have like a void character, and he's like the main void character. Um, Gordo, who is like the the mean, like the the evil faction, right? Yeah. Um, we have Orie, who's like the good faction, and then Carmine wow. is an invert. So, yeah. yeah. So we have kind of one of everything now. <laughs> yeah. And if you follow the story in Eunice at all, then you'll you'll uh, love it. And if you don't, then it's just really confusing. But I, I feel like a lot of people have no idea what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, now you have one of everything. Mm -hmm. um, and plus, like, kind of like Igus, there he's a complicated character in the game. So it'll be interesting to see how they, like, how how he plays. In comparison, because I guess it was a high execution character, Carmine's a high execution character, um, and we don't really have those yet in the game uh, for for cross tag battle. Okay. So it'll be interesting to see how much of their original tool set they retain. Gotcha. I can imagine there will still be set play monsters because that's that's the reputation they both earned for the game. And uh, for those who don't know, set play is basically just like looping into mix-ups and high damage like in a repeated loop with consistent knockdowns and setups and those characters were very good at doing that so when people were also worried when they first got it announced because it was like oh these characters are in the game now that means you know the game might end up being having these things heavy mix-ups yeah, yeah like yeah. heavy mix-up setups and like because i guess has the morgan dash so yeah <laughs> yes, and carmine has traps that keep you there for a long time so he's mm -hmm. able to mix you up a lot of those times and put you in situ in unfavorable situations juve not so much he's more like he's just that character where it was just like oh you know He's the that that cool character in the DLC pack that He's everyone's just like, yeah. He's a cat. Know. Everyone loves cats. You know, I spent hours and hours looking at cat videos, and uh... anyway, let's get back into it. <laughs> yeah. So before yeah, before I lose track, um, let's uh, for those who haven't seen the trailer, we'll go show a quick uh, quick trailer. We'll dip into that, and then we'll go straight into uh, some cross tag gameplay. So uh, catch you guys right after the trailer. ボコボコにするであります。会社の特別制圧ウェザー7式。アイディス。魅力ながら音もさせていただきます。共同戦線ですね。ヒアウィーゴーであります。俺様に歯向かうとはいい度胸じゃねえの。少々とっつめてやる
どれ一つ揉んでやろうとしようどうしたまとめてかかってきても構わんぞ言っておくが俺は早いぞうまく合わせられるかこの俺の動きについてくるとはやるじゃないかShe's a, a lolly, uh, kind of, because she's a little girl, right? But she's really old. Yeah. And she has eternal life, and every time she dies, her consciousness gets moved from one body to another. Okay. So, uh, so at some point, whilst I'm with some old man that got, like, turned into a void, and now he's in this monster's body, and he's with Lynn, like, discarding her as she tries to actually die. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Also, um, for those who, who haven't played the game yet, and those that need to stream, um, just to go over the, the button layout. So, it's, a uh, there's, uh, five main buttons in the game. There's, uh, there's square, um, but by default, um, square is, a uh, light attack, triangle is medium attack, uh, circle is, uh, the cross attack, which is overhead, and X is a raw assist. We also have R1, which is, um, I mean, uh, X is a raw attack, and, uh, R1 is the assist button. Um, assist meaning you get to call your, your teammate, and your teammate doesn't attack. Um, each character has three different assist attacks depending on the direction that you can put while you have assist. So, neutral um, is usually a, a dash attack. Um, forward um, is usually a projectile. And back is usually an anti -hunter. And I say usually because some characters um, uh, have different, different attacks. So, like, um, most people would have a. Some type of uh, DP or uh, anti-air or uh, gravitational, but um, a character like Nu, she does her uh, gravitational pull instead. So uh, depending on the character, um, yeah, uh, some of the attacks vary. But usually the case is uh, 
four projectiles, each roll, um, some type of dash attack, and, uh, back is, uh, DP. And then, uh, four, um, throws, um, five grab and throws, it's a, uh, medium and cross, which is a triangle and circle. That's, uh, that's a throw. And everyone has, a. Okay, that, that, that's a command. Yeah. I can't do this. Yeah. So, I mean, cool. so everyone also has a uh, a reversal attack, which is uh, white and cat. Yeah. So yeah. it's it, 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 known as uh, you. Yeah. 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 Well, every character. Has everyone has a yeah. And uh, again, it varies. It's usually it's usually some type of like anti air You can attack like uh, if you do if you do Chie, Chie does her uh, counter that she has with Sona. Um, so I mean, uh, it's, uh, yeah, light and tag will basically your, um, personal attack. And then, to do your, uh, to do your special, if you use up, uh, your meter, it's going to be, uh, down forward, or those who use, uh, numpad, uh, 236, and then, um, it'll be a medium and cross attack, the triangle and circle attack. Um, everyone has, uh, two attacks, it's either down forward or down back. Um, but right now, uh, Yosuke, uh, Jonah's in, uh, Renaissance Blaze, when, uh, which, which triggers uh, by pressing assist when you don't have a character to assist with. Yeah, yeah, if you want, I can actually help you with that, because I actually did study a little bit of the oh, okay. Jonah's game beforehand. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 had, uh, I, had a, I had someone help me. With that before I came in here, actually. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. I'll help you with what? Uh, help me with learning the general control scheme. Hey, and, uh, okay, yeah, okay. he's actually gonna be on the, or he's gonna, you know, he's gonna show his face around at uh, Anime Ascension. And um, yeah, the thing is, the uh, name is SKD. I'm pretty sure those watching should probably know who he is. So thankfully, he was, oh, damn it. Okay, well, um, there we go back. <laughs> I was, I was matching too hard. Oh no, 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 I mean, I'll go back to. Oh, oh, we're yeah. on one character select already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess we, I guess we can do it the old fashioned oh, no. way. Oh no! I thought it too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We can mm -hmm. just do it the old fashioned way. And just uh, do that. Yeah, this is the version that will be available in the Ascension, correct? Um, I am actually I am on I'm on Are we gonna get a? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you, you had you almost I almost did it. You, you had it. Thank this you for solving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this is the build that's gonna be on uh. Doing it, oh, we'll, we'll be using for anime sense. Actually, I think they said there was going to be an English dub, though. Oh, we're trying. Okay, oh, okay. oh trying. Okay. We're trying, yeah. If everything goes well, then we'll have a brand new build of new characters with the English dub. And there gets to, you get to but, hear um, Gordo and Hyde and Lin all in English dub yeah. for the you first actually heard time. Earlier, so. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we're, um, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll announce it if anything happens. Wait, 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 wait. I should try. I want to play. I'll play the unique version. Really really so I guess uh, since this is a trial build, I think uh, the intros, uh, like the cool, like the set intros, aren't in the game. Right? Like you know, the ones where the partners are together and they have like a cool intro together. I, I guess. Uh, I mean, you'll definitely Don't see. Press anything. Oh, yeah. Not press anything. Yeah, I know. I'll, we'll, we'll we'll see for myself. Yeah, I don't think you can tell what she is. <laughs> oh, she's all the way back there, too. That was like, like, I figured she'd be at least next to her. You can tell I'm preserving her good neutral. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can you scream, you can take that however you want. <sighs> well, Gordo, he certainly retains his Oh! Yeah. Risky Jet asks, is um, Uni characters getting dubbed? Yes. And, um, It'll be the first time any of those uh, characters from Under Night. Oh wow, that reach is really fun. An English go, so I can hold this. Yeah, good. That's pretty good. Cool. Is this like a salt JC range? Oh shit, I can do both. Uh oh. Good. I heard she's really cool. Man. Oh, do it in the air. I love her range. <laughs> yes, I his range so, is... He's so good. Yeah. Oh. There's actually, uh, auto-dash in this game. Like, 
like, you don't enter the dash to get the dash. Yes, you just uh, press forward. forward. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually saw some complaints about having something like that in the game. But uh, there's actually... I feel like it's fine, because if you watch uh, high-level footage in any anime game, except for even Uni, like, um, no one walks. Yeah. Unless it's backwards. People walk backwards, yeah. but no one walks forward. Unless, like, maybe it's in pressure. But the even... only issue is that you don't run immediately, so the idea of dash block doesn't really yeah. apply to this game. Although, it is pretty quick, though. But I mean, so in Uni, um, you have, when you press dash, there's like a, there's a, a dashing animation. So characters like Merkaba, they can go a quarter of the screen just by pressing the dash button. Um, in this, I mean, I'm, <laughs> there's some people in chat saying, I walk forward. <laughs> uh, you know, that's fair. Hey, but yeah, that's fair. I mean, some people do walk forward. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I don't usually walk forward unless it's like... I'm not playing like Street Fighter or something. But in, yeah, in Street Anime Fight. Fighters, yeah, it's very, it's very seldom. Yeah, because you have to go... You like... There's Unless no you're Lychee. Real, real. Lychee likes to walk through. No. <laughs> I guess it's... Uh, that, yeah, that, that's up close, though. Yeah. Well, like, in neutral, which is where you spend, like... A very good majority of the time in these games, you're gonna be running around and air dashing and back dashing and stuff. But walking backwards, that is a. I mean, I'm like, I'm very glad they kept that at least. But um, but running, that's okay. Like, <laughs> I just think of uh, some some of the Uni characters having a air back dash. That that was that is a Yes, it did not. Oh, Walt having an air back dash is kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah. And also Walt having. He does. He didn't actually retain his best air normals, so that's kind of sad. I walked forward with the Viking. Yes, everyone walks forward. <laughs> she, has, she has the most sultry walk in like all. Of the okay. Fighters. Yes, that's that's and for so, di that's for different reasons. That's for different reasons. Though. Yeah. That is not exactly so. for the reasons for the reasons why we play these games. <laughs> at least for you. At least for <laughs> at least for us. Yes. At least for, for you us. Too. I, mean, to for, I, I think. I mean, I walk. You guys don't play Guilty Gear that much, but I, uh, I play. I play Guilty Gear. Uh, Zato. I walk. I walk a lot with Zato when I have his. Uh, he's my man. But when I have uh, Eddie out, uh, kind of walk. Yeah, not well, not I, off. I'm not straight up walk. But what I like to do with Zato is go in training mode and walk forward because uh -huh. his hand kind of goes like this. Oh okay. <laughs> So you can kind of fill people up if you walk on top of. Them. <laughs> okay, you know, you have to. So walking, you know, there's a lot of fun applications. Yeah. Right? You know, in terms of like, you know, actual applications, there aren't too much. But you distraction. Know, yeah, I <laughs> Sac missing with your uh, opponent's mind. Like, what are you walking? For? There is a, uh, but there is one legitimate, you know, way to do that, and that's with a, uh, that's with a character like Azrael. And as in Blaze Blue, he does not have a run. He has a forward and a, he has a forward dash, which is a teleport. It's a teleport. It's a set like teleport. Yeah. yeah, and he has a back dash like that too. Mm -hmm. So you can't do like typical jab run pressure with him. Yeah. So instead, oh, instead you do walk pressure with him, like up close and. Well, lo and behold, they kept his walk yep. in the game. Yeah. So, because he, he doesn't have a run, but if you press forward twice, he still does his dash and he yeah. still goes behind. So he doesn't but, have an auto dash like everyone else. Yes, exactly. But it, you would see pressure like this, like um, if uh, like high level, uh, he doesn't have five. Eight. Oh, he does. Yes, that's right. It's before. You would see uh, like them uh, doing a jump in and doing a jab and then walking up to cover distance. Don't skip like, the. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like people don't care about like unique intros. They just don't want to skip any. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, there, there's no Yukiko's unique. Yukiko's favorite move. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, does it heal? Yes. It oh! Oh, <laughs> nice. oh okay. Wait, that heal is a lot better than it was before. <laughs> yes, it was. It is way better. Look at that. It actually recovers her red health. Yeah. Oh, you're right. It does. Actually I didn't even know that. Wow, okay. Okay. And so if you, if you get up to the red health, then like, it'll recover all the way. Oh, yeah, it does. Huh. I mean, given it's just like it's like powering up a grab block to do so much. Uh oh, it's very hard. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. Stop this thing. I'll, I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> okay, if, if you want if you want to see their interest, we can do it again. My, our bad. Let's see if Walden wins. You see, Asperger Gordo is the team that, like, Everyone was like, oh my god, this is gonna be like the most crazy gorilla team in the game. Team chest muscles. More or less, yeah. And hey, it's a really good cool team. Look at it, so yeah, that chest muscles are great. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah. They're awesome. They're like two. This game has a little bit for everybody. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> don't, don't mash. I know. I know. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I wanted to. I, I'm, the, I'm the same. Um, our very first stream, I like. I'm always anxious to play. You know, of course, when you first get the game, you first try it out, you always like seeing the intro and stuff. But after like a couple of intros, you're like, all right, well, let's go. Yeah. But, and again, this is not the final product of everyone, this is, this is not, so there, there, there will be unique there, there will be unique, cooler intros and dialogue. Um, and later dubs. So. Yes, exactly. So it'll be more fun. Mm -hmm. We'll get to have all of that. Is Goose Stuff still close? Oh, is that all right? Oh, is it? No, it's not. What didn't you used to be? No, the B, there's a two versions in Unio. Oh, okay. Alright, yeah, I guess. So this is just a two version. Oh, he still has his dive kick. You know, I, I kind of want to try it out. Does Valiant still do that whole animation? Oh, okay, yes. Although. Oh, I don't have meter. Well, it's still an overhead, but not like most people got hit by that anyways. And yeah, supers take two meters. Oh wow, that's interesting. Hmm? Sorry, right, as well, Zordo so far. Well, well, they, they go to the gym. Yes, they do. They're... And Gordo runs a bar, so... Yeah, they also they, have no nipples. I don't know if you guys noticed. <laughs> but well, they... Gordo, you never know. He's He has he has a coat. He has a coat. So That's like, true. You know, it's up to your imagination at that point. For Azrael, I feel like he's just a whole other machine <laughs> in the first place, so I don't want, I think he has no nipples. Oh, wow, that, like, slams him over the dude. Is that super cancelable? Uh, like uh, like I don't know if you guys also, also know you could uh, you could always uh, tag after an assist. Yes, you can. Oh, yeah. You can do that by uh, holding the. Uh, you can the just press. Button. You don't have to hold it. You can just you can press it once they're yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you just have to. So do once that you you get them in during an assist, just press tag and they stay in, which unlocks a lot of possibilities. You could be doing a combo, get them to assist, do um, do some type of uh, DP attack. And uh, get an air combo, call them in, and then continue on it. I, mean, I start. I tried messing around a little bit with like tagging and uh, assists and tagging and continuing combos and tagging in because the cooldown, even though there is a there is a somewhat of a cooldown, it's it's not very long. So yeah, it's until they leave the screen. Yeah. And uh, it, but the only thing is, uh, you, they, you can get your assist can get hit yes. while they are recovering because mm -hmm. they each have like an idle animation. Yeah, there, there's a small idle animation right before they hop back out. But um, if, you do, if you're putting a lot of pressure on them, whether it's a combo or not, you can still put a lot of pressure by tagging it. Yeah, out. so the assist gauge only goes down if you if you call an assist during a, like during an animation of mm. move. Like if you have them block or you have them hit something, then it'll take away gauge. But otherwise, it won't. So doing assist in neutral can potentially be a very strong option. And it, or lo a low commitment option, to, potentially. But remember, your assist can still get hit. So. Yeah. It can definitely be dangerous if you're not careful with it. You do not want to give your opponent a happy birthday. Yes, exactly. So. <laughs> yeah, and uh, there are bursts in this game. And uh, as long as you have your partner available, like as in like you tag your other partner when you're getting hit, mm -hmm. and uh, it'll um, and your partner will come in with an attack, and uh, it serves as like a combo breaker. So that um, you don't get like if you feel like you you don't want to take this combo. Then you can tag in your partner and uh, break the combo essentially. It's like Marvel. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we're we're done um, explaining some of the differences between Uni and so we were kind of like scattering all over the place. But I see you're trying out the Ruby characters now. Yes, I am. I am yeah. a Ruby so, fan. You are a Ruby fan. Yes, yeah, I am. that's very very cool. And these moves are very faithful to the series. Yeah, which I'm, I'm very not. Happy to see. I'm not a huge Ruby fan. I've seen um, season one and um, just. Playing some of uh, Ruben Weiss, like uh, I, I really like how Arc Systems. Um, I didn't say true to like the source material. Play Dragon Ball. You, you notice a lot of the, a lot of the cutscenes, especially attack, are straight out of the manga. Um, yes, exactly. And so, uh, really cool. yeah, seeing uh, seeing the little Ruby characters, they're special, and some of their attacks are pretty faithful. Are very faithful actually to the. Yeah, I believe uh, one of Ruby's supers, this one, is actually from her premiere trailer. Uh, like oh, when she's fighting all those... Uh... Fighting all the wolves? Mm -hmm, yeah. yeah, that's actually straight from her premiere trailer. Like, that stuff like that, I really I really think is super cool. Oh wow, that 5A looks really good. So 
What does he score? I wonder, do the entires have head involved in this game? Start jumping in on me. <laughs> I'm asking you to do that I, as Rage. It's too. hard with, yeah, it's hard yeah. with this character that doesn't hit downward. Yeah. Oh, I'll hit Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Can you... Oh, okay, <laughs> alright, yeah. So, there, is, there are head and volley tires in this game still. As there should be. In my lore, the team is called Battle Skirts. In whom? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Shadow's just talking about your team. Okay. Team well, Battle Skirts. Well, that's fine. Oh yeah, the other thing, so I mentioned about the burst system earlier, yeah. about how you can uh, tag your partner out. Mm -hmm. And they do that animation, like the animation they have when they come in. Yeah. And uh, you can't act you can't burst if you do if uh, the the opponent blocks a DP. Oh. So or like so if if uh, they bait your DP and they punish you for it, you can't burst out of it. So oh, okay. they so that's a full combo that they can't escape from, which I think is really cool. Yeah. And uh, also I think her DP's a low. Is it DP low or is it like no. there was a blue exclamation point? Is it an overhead? Is it overhead? Nope. No. Is it an anti air or something? That's yeah. yeah there's. It's, I think it's an anti air. Okay. Maybe well, it's most of them by default it's an anti air. Well, no, there's no barrier in this game. Oh yeah, yeah. What's like the blue I exclamation point? I think it's just crossing point? out. Oh yeah, wow, it's air unblockable. Okay, so there are air unblockable moves. I guess, I guess that, that that is definitely a lot of things to experiment on. I know I know they um they made oh, this game catchy. to be a little more simplified. Um, and, and uh, friendly to a lot of newcomers in fighting games, uh, but I mean, there's a lot of things to explore. So there's a, there's a lot of uh, potential here. What's the button for? Dash right here? For, <laughs> wait, what's the button dash? A plus B. Oh really? Is it in the air only? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, so there's a, there's a shortcut dash in this game. Like Astral in finishes not in this game. Uh, no. I oh, yeah, Astro finishes though, those are the, the, the one in depth. I think those are just level threes. Level threes, yeah. Game. They should be. Wow, that outro is really nice. <laughs> 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 I, yeah, I guess um, I'm, I'm very. It, it feels nice to finally play these characters in a fighting game because um, I can't see any of us ever expected it to happen. Uh, you know, <laughs> caught me off. When that surprise. happened, you know. Yeah, it's just like, oh man. You should try the other boys with your dude, but. Yeah, I didn't know that you could. Also, um, a lot of people day one for this game. So yeah, the, the game is actually already um, out for pre-order on Amazon and GameStop. So you can pre-order that now. Um, and, to note mm -hmm. in mind, if you have Prime, it'll be $10 off. Oh yeah, if you have Amazon Prime, for all you people who have Amazon Prime, um, you can, uh, yeah, it'll be $10 off, so it'll be saving a bunch. And it's already $49.99, so... Yes, and also the DLC altogether is like twenty dollars. Yeah, yeah. So if you have that, plus you have that. You get all discount. the characters. You get all the characters. So you're just oh. buying the game at that point. Mm -hmm. Just a sixty dollar game. You're buying just a regular game. So yeah. to those, yeah. most games are fifteen ninety nine. So with their Amazon Prime discount, you're basically getting a bunch of bonuses for the price of a regular game. Right. Yes, and that is super cool. And uh, it definitely basically lightens the DLC load mm. because. You're not paying extra if you use if you use that. So I think also, Yang really and cool. Blake are totally uh, those are free DLCs, so you'll be getting those um, automatically. So, right? so you can play the whole Ruby Crew yep. without having to pay a single dime. Makoto's day. So assists come out. Oh, so okay. So uh, assists come out on hit. It seems like that's a if, really long DP assist. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Some. Ca yeah. Get, some characters <laughs> are like, some characters are really quick with their assists. Some characters are take forever. Are you holding it, or is that just how no, long? No, it is? that's just how long it is. Yeah. Wow. You could go taking your time. <laughs> oh, oh that's a fire burst. Yeah, that's, that's, that was, a, that's forward assist, right? And that's forward assist, okay, okay. but that used to only come out if she got to level six. Oh, you get it. Just yeah, you just do right it right away. <laughs> Okay. I mean, there's a little lag time right before. But, um. Yeah, it's about as underwhelming as it was in the other game. Okay, can I jump cancel? But it was, it was, it's always like the hype factor. It's like, oh, she got the Phoenix. Yeah. Okay, so S can has her instant overhead from CF, and she can use an assist to combo from it. Uh -oh. That's actually really cool. Oh, she can do... Oh, oh. That's her basic DMD from the other game. Yeah. <laughs> she do that before? Yes, that assist heals. Yeah. Checking out the chat here. You know, I wonder if she has her buff from the old game. Yep, this game oh. is going to be out for the Switch, um, as well as the PS4. Yes, I already pre-ordered it. Oh, nice. Yeah. It has a little on Steam, Dude. so... 
So Yukiko can still change her fan directions in the air. Okay. Yeah, we have a couple of requests. If anyone has some requests for them to play, um, we could always do some... Oh, is there instant block? Oh, no, there's not. There's no instant blocking in this game. And how do you throw? Oh, third BC. Oh, wait. It's a little different in this one, isn't it? Uh... I wonder what button notation we're going to be using for this game. At the very least, for Blaze Woods, PC. Oh yeah, I don't know how the sticks oh, are configured. He's, he's, oh, yeah. there's a run throw. Yeah, it's a, like it doesn't. Yeah, actually, a lot of characters have um, they they dash or they run up for the throw. Oh yeah, throw throw me. I want to see if this works. Yeah, tr uh, triangle circle. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have to get the block screen. Okay. Oh, we also got a question of a while ago. Oh, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, is it? This game has auto combos. Um, similar to like to, to Dragon Ball and stuff, you could you gotta tap um, light attack or medium attack. That's interesting. Okay, try throwing me. Oh, testing out some uh, some stuff. So here. you can do crouching normals in the throw, but you can't do standing. I guess it's, I guess it's because they're I guess it's because they're B normals. Like you know, in the old games you couldn't do that, or in for Blaze Blue you couldn't do that either. So I guess they're only like just adhering. Oh, that's really fast overheads. Yeah, those overheads are pretty fast. <laughs> so if it, it, it like I can tell, especially if you have an assist to cover you, it'll be like a very a very easy way to open someone up. But however, the it, overheads in this game when they're when you get hit mid screen with them, they send you all the way across the screen. So a character can't like. Assert. You guys want to take some uh, some requests? Absolutely. All right. So somebody's asking for uh, Jin Noel and uh, okay. Ragna Rachel. So just to let you know, I'm pretty sure there are no special intros in this game right now. Yeah. Yeah. So, but the people still uh, want to see them. But I mean, yeah. So yes. I know a lot of people. Are like, oh, I want to. I want to see some special intros with specific characters. They're, they're in the game. The the actual games, the respective games they're from. Yes. But I mean, with this early build, um, they're they're not there. Yeah, um, they they were they were in the build that was played about a month ago. Yeah, they they showcased the special intros. Okay, cool, cool. How is it choosing the stage? I think it's random. It's random. Okay. Either that or it's associated with a character. Because isn't but, it on auto right now? Yes, it's on auto. Mm -hmm. Uh. Um, yeah, background music and um, stage are auto right now. Yes, the way you beat art. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, Spot 6D is much different than it used to be. You like the character music? Absolutely. Oh wow, look at that dead spike. Dead spike. Speaking of dead spike. Um, oh yes. There great. is. Um, I mean, it's, the, the game has been out for um, for mobile um, for for Android and iOS, but uh, there is actually a. Um, Blaze Blue uh, Rhythm Game that's going to be coming out for the Switch tomorrow. We'll show you a quick trailer um, in, in a bit. Uh, oh. But uh, it's pretty fun, actually. But, uh, we'll... oh, she has a wind gauge. Yes, How am I supposed does. to use it? I think it's in your normals. Try, try getting the B normal. No? Okay, try it. Oh, there we go. It's still not using. Oh, wait, I'll probably have to turn. No, there's no functions. No. Oh. <laughs> How do I use the wind? Is it a try down for special? I think yeah. You, you okay, oh, try, you oh, try Tempest Dolly. Try Tempest Dolly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't ignite them. Though. Yeah, that was a thing in CF, and it was really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that essentially made her top tier on the spot. And I even now. To... No, that doesn't That's... use. I don't... What about her oh. assists? Oh, oh yeah, what about her assist? Maybe they use them. Yeah, the rhythm game is gonna be released uh NA, yeah. North America for Switch tomorrow. And um, Oh god, she puts two of them. Okay, is that the EX version? Or? No. Uh I love the Steam uh the cross type thing also. Oh yes, it is. Wow. Oh, she has muzzle filter. Really That's her overhead? And apparently it has one. Yeah. Oh, it does? Oh, oh, no, I think it's just your 5A. It's uh, Ragnos, so it's really high up. So I'm pretty sure it just looks... So what do, you, what do you guys think of the, the cross um, mechanic? The, the overhead? 
Oh yes, uh, yeah, so I, I don't know if I finished earlier, but uh, so essentially, the overhead's fast, mm -hmm. but uh, essentially, and um, you know, if you block it, they, they can probably pressure afterwards if they have an assist. Oh yeah. But if you hit someone with it, and it's mid-screen, their offense is over. They have oh, to yeah. come back to neutral. Which I think is good. That's what, that's essentially what they wanted to do, so that players wouldn't feel too oppressed. That's her DP. That's, yeah. It's Tempa. It's uh, the you know her EA. Yeah, when, uh, last. Uh, you reach the top of screen. Two episodes ago, when I had Kizzy. Oh, it does. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it reaches to the top of the screen. It's there unblockable too. Dude. Oh no, wait, oh, wait, not, wait, wait, I guess. Is that unblockable? Like, yeah, no, it reaches to like. Oh, it is. Level. Yeah, it's there unblockable. Oh. I don't know how to avoid. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a push block function in this game. Uh, pressure me. Maybe? Never maybe. There we go. Yeah. Are you guys planning to play this oh. uh, during Evo? Maybe? Absolutely. Oh, I, already, yeah. I, 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 already mentioned. I already signed up, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. You, you signed up for this game already? Because I know you, you main Blaze Blue, right? Yes. Since there's no Blaze Blue game there. This, this is the Blaze Blue game that's going to be Yes. We, bo we both main Blaze Blue. Or, well, oh, okay, okay. I mean, I guess. Uh, well, I would say Blaze Blue is my main game. Yeah, yeah. I, I I played Dissidia a lot, I and mean, he plays Dragon Ball oh, a lot shit. now. So you can oh, mash, recently, yeah, recently. mashing DP yeah. is also mashing push block. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's interesting. Oh yeah, we haven't tested uh, option selects with uh, with um uh, with throws. That so, would probably be interesting. Oh yeah, for those who don't know, so an option select is essentially <laughs> it's like a, a set motion that you do. Like a, a combination of button and buttons or commands that um, allows you to answer various situations. So, uh, an option select that was very common in Blaze Blue is uh, something called a fuzzy jump, and it lets you it lets you jump if there was a gap in a block string, but it also let you tech throws at the same time. It was a really strong option select, and uh, you had to exclusively call it out in order to punish it. But uh, it's interesting. Uh, I don't know. It should still be there based on um, what I've been testing so far, so I would definitely like to see if that's uh, still there. Possible. Don't know if, uh, yeah, it's probably just like doing stuff like that. Because um, the other thing is, um, so in Persona, that um, what Fuzzy Jump looked like is um, the the other person would, uh, the, the person doing it would jump up and whiff an air throw to indicate that they inputted the throw. But in this game, there's no air throws, so instead it's just a button that comes out. So there are probably a lot more ways to punish it now that like an actual button comes out as a result. So that'll be interesting. Yeah, try like doing it. Try like run up throwing me. Oh, there we go. Skipping it. You don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> yeah, throw it. It is a sin on uh, on Arc Live to skip intros, but uh, really, it, yeah, okay. I get. Oh, oh, it's fine. I was not inputting the right one. Try, <laughs> try it again. I wasn't inputting the right one. Oh, there we go. There you go. So yeah, you throw. Can you press all four? Oh yeah, let's try it. Yes, you can. So you can DP and throw. At the same yeah, you can. Time. You can do DP and throw. So that's another option. So there's many different ways you can hide your your throw off, your throw, and um, you, so you basically what you do is um, for DP throw you uh, plank you, or you press DP and then you quickly qu press throw. So if there was a gap in there, the DP would come out, and if not, then um, can't you just press all four at the same time? I think if you press all, oh yeah, you could do that too. That's right. There's no overdrive in this game. It is a uh, nope. resonance blaze, and that is done with the. Um, with the assist button when one character is in. Yeah, there's no training mode options in this game. Yeah, so yeah, if you, do, if you try to do throw mix up in this game, you'll just get DP. We've already had six episodes of this, but we've never actually... I mean, we had a couple of... We had Kizzy come in, but we, we never talked about any text or anything. This is actually... The, the chat room match could be like... You talking about um, text and, and stuff, especially some of the people who... I've never really played fighting games. Yeah. Okay. You gotta learn these things. That, that is, I'm very glad to be doing yeah, yeah. that then. And oh yeah, that's the other thing. So um, <laughs> so in uh, Uniel there was a. Uh, oh yeah, does that have armor? Yeah, apparently. There. I, I didn't. I know. wonder if I can combo. It. Yes, it does have armor. Oh shit. So it um in Blaze Blue Central Fiction that uh, her cat chair 
which is that move you saw mm. just now. That was her reversal, quote unquote. It wasn't like a dragon punch where you know it came out instantaneously, but it has ar it had guard point, which essentially like around like a little bit after you activated, so you couldn't like mash it and get away with it usually. But uh, if it worked, uh, it, you would essentially get them off of you. Which is, uh... is there a rocket pencil in this game? No, there's not. Yeah, no. so the idea with her especially is you do that and then you wrap it. In. Yeah, you would wrap it. Oh, we, have a, we have a good question here. Um, how does this game feel out of like the, the three um, IPs that are in this introduced in this game? I mean, Ruby is another one, but I've never had a fighting game in it. But yes. what, do you, what do you guys think? So, how, how does this game feel? More like a Blaze Blue game, a Persona game, or a or Uni game? I'm definitely getting like moving around and doing block strings. It's feel it feels more BBS. To okay. Me. And uh, but again, like the control scheme and the way you go about things, it reminds me a lot of uh, Persona in that aspect. And uh, and I think that's really cool how you can combine various aspects of various games into here, especially with the characters too. Of course, that's important. But it it feels. Like the way you move around and mm -hmm. things like that. It, 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 oh, you're playing that too. Okay. Well, I guess uh, I guess. We'll take we'll take a we'll take a um, request here. We'll play about maybe two more games. Sure. So uh, let's see. We got somebody requesting um, Jin Noel again. No, we'll, we'll not do. We did that already. <laughs> we did that already. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Jin Noel. Wow. New and Hazama. If new anybody wants to do a new and Hazama, you want to do it? You play. And Hazuma. then we got uh, another Jinoa. Do Ragna and Ruby. Okay, that's that's. Uh, oh yeah, that's okay. So that's fine. Oh, we'll do that. that. I played Ragna in uh, Blaze Blue. Well, I have. I play. For those who don't know, I play like about. Yeah, like, but who's who's your mains for Blaze Blue? I play Valken Hein and my. I dual main those characters. Okay. I have a lot of. Well, we, we both play a lot play of okay, lot characters. Okay, so basically, <laughs> what we do whenever I go to his house uh -huh. is we play Blaze Blue sessions with all our characters that we play. Oh wow! We, we play an abnormally large amount of characters. I think I have. Like, okay, okay. I think I have nine, and you have six. Uh, I think I don't know how many I have. Yeah, I, I yeah. have Arakuni, uh, Amani, He's yeah. fun, Rachel, uh, Makoto, uh, Hazama. Yeah, okay. Do you guys yeah, have a yeah. go-to for our tournaments, or it all depends on Absolutely. like who you play? I'm, my mains me. are um, are Valkenhain and Mai, but I also okay. have an Azrael, a Jin, a Ragna. Um, who else do I play? I definitely play a lot of characters, but uh, Naoto. Oh yeah, that's right. How could I forget him? I love Naoto so much. Uh, I play Naoto. I play Bullet. I play. There's uh. There's another character. Oh yeah, Susano. I play Terry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really like Susano. So basically, we just we play everybody. we play oh, a yeah. lot of characters. <laughs> so we play a we lot. We kind of, of play like half the cast between the two of us. We, oh, we, nice. We, yeah. we subconsciously do like sets of like 50 games with all our subs. Always really fun. Oh. Okay. Nice. We just uh, so you guys you guys uh, stream on Twitch too. We do yeah. not. We oh. just. Oh, we, when you say sub, oh, you mean uh, you know, so the characters. So a main character mm -hmm. is a is a character that you play in a tournament setting. Oh, like gotcha, a gotcha. Serious okay, okay. That's and a sub character is a character that you play on the side, someone you just play for fun. Mm -hmm. Although, um, I don't know. I, I like where our subs are at the moment. I feel like we could play them in tournament and be really fun. In fact, I actually have before. <laughs> yeah, I actually pulled out Rachel and Evo. Which is really that is yeah, these two will both be playing at Evo for different games. They'll, they'll be entering uh, Cross Tag as well as um, some other games. Um, I know uh, Breaking Day said you're gonna be doing Dragon Ball. Yeah. Are you entering anything else besides Blaze Blue? Uh, for me? Jonah? Yeah. Um, I will enter the side tournaments for Blaze okay. Blue and Dissidia if that is a thing. Mm -hmm. So I I'll be looking forward to that. Okay, that's interesting to know. So um, so Ragna is oh a. Yeah, so his two three six A is Dead Spike, or his two three six motion. So uh, in this game, it's um. What game is it similar to where it has A, A, A B, C, and then the C's and the X move? Mm. Oh yeah, Dragon Ball. Dragon well, Ball, that's Dragon Ball C, but also Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, that's that right. Yeah, so um, so it's the same in this game where if there's a move with some with a certain option with a certain input, there's gonna be two other versions of that move that oh, yeah. do the same thing. However, I've noticed with uh with characters like Azrael, 
They uh, they the moves actually change depending on the button. So like two three six a two one four a, which is a half circle back and a. That's that's his growler field, which is where he yeah, goes. Yeah, some like moves that. actually are completely different. Yeah, um, and then depending he, on the button, instead of just doing an alternate version of the same move. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's really cool. I wonder if you can. We should request over. Soul Bad Guy for the next match. Uh. <laughs> oh well, well, may, may, maybe in, maybe in another universe. Maybe in another universe. Maybe in the future. Maybe in the Perhaps, future. We had a uh, we had an uh, Arc System CEO come in, and one of the questions from the chat was, uh, "Will we ever see a Guilty Gear and versus Blaze Blue game?" And that's open. Yeah, nothing okay. confirmed. Nothing confirmed. But you know, he's he's open to the idea, as he's open to like a lot of ideas. So. Well, it'll be as close as you, this will be as close as you can get for now. For now, for now. And I mean, I'm not complaining. I think this is a very awesome crossover idea, and um, I, I'm sure most people have seen how the crowd just erupted uh, <laughs> at Evo. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it was it was really an awesome experience to be so, yeah. a part of that. Was there any other? Oh yeah, we'll we'll do uh, one more. Now. We'll do one more request. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Testament versus Ruby. Oh, don't get me at the field. Test. I love Testament. He was like my main guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. Please, please, not the field, guys. Okay, uh, we got S and Ruby. That's that's one. And. But S and Weiss. That's the set team. Yeah. And Weiss and, and Jin. Oh, oh yes, that's a cool Ice and team. Ice. I can play that. There you go. Yes, I I, I play Jin. Wait, so you're Jin. making me play S. <laughs> 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 I guess. Uh, what do you want to play Weiss and Jin? I don't like. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can. Wait, who's my other character? You can play us. Uh, oh, we also have a uh, Ruby and Gordo. If you if you want to do a uh, team oh, Scythe. Yes. Scythe, that'd be cool. Okay, I can play that. I can play that. <laughs> I, can, I can definitely play that one. Okay, yeah. Since Jonah's can play first too. player, he's like he's getting there. <laughs> yes, I got. I so guess we got so, Team yeah. Scythe versus Team Ice. Scythe, All right. Exactly. Yeah. So. uh... If uh, chat room, if you guys think Jonah's gonna take it, type in one in chat. If you guys oh, think uh, Breaking Dream Day is gonna take it, okay. Uh, all right. Type in two. So we got uh, we got one and oh, two. Wow. We'll see what the chat room thinks, and we'll see okay. what happens at the end. Oh my god! By the way, <laughs> by the way, guys, stick around. Um, we're still giving away codes for Uni um, for Undernight in Birth. Uh, Exe oh, late me. ST for PS4. All right, we got we got. We got a lot of, oh, oh, one, ones, twos, twos, we got a lot of threes, we got a three, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, we got a three there. A very courageous one, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Do you even remember what Jin's moveset is? Uh, I haven't played him yet. You remember J2C of these? Oh, yeah, that's right, he has this assist, and it's a really strong Three is for a tie? Okay. You can do backdash if you're making for assist. Oh my god, you can do backdash as an assist? Too. Oh, I saw, I saw an info. a lot mark. of invincibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try and open you down. No, this is like. Oh, yeah, you're right. This is right. serious. This is a know? serious match, that's right. Damn, you see. I'm trying really hard. Oh, shit. Serious match. There's, there's 90, 95 seconds left on the clock. Oh, okay. All right. I gotta match my LS. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, A lot of people are asking are uh, those auto combos. Are you guys doing some auto combos too? Oh yes. Yes. Yeah. This, this this is an auto combo. Yeah. There's auto combos here. You can just uh you can smash that uh, light button or smash that uh, medium button. A nice auto combo. Oh, yeah, okay. Can't looks like or... looks like Jonah might be taking it. You never know. But you never know. Just can't count out Team Ice. Oh. But the range, <laughs> man. <laughs> Carlos' range is insane. That was punishable in the ice. And Undernight. Yes, it was. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, oh, uh oh. I feel like I'm playing Yuki Kogan. Yuki 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did the wait. I did the wait. I expected the fuzzy DC. <laughs> 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 Alright, then that's it. Jonah is our champion wow, that was for pretty episode good, I must seven. say. The throw attack. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, right? I was totally... That was all reaction. It was all reaction. Right, see, well, wow, I'm gonna say, do you guys... Do you guys Hey, chat room, do you guys want to see one more? Oh, okay. We can do oh, one, we'll do one more. Serious teams now. Yeah, oh, we'll do, oh, serious, seri teams. oh serious teams? Okay. Oh, he was okay. messing around the first time. Okay. <laughs> we'll go, we'll okay. do one more. We'll do one more. Okay. Again, right. guys, again, um, if you think Jonah's going to take it, type in one. If you think uh, Breaker uh, Dave's going to be I taking think, it, yeah, I have to play type, in, uh, type in two. So, one and two. You can come on the wall, Stan. I know Gordo is my jam for sure. Oh, that was my color. Best out of three? Okay, we'll, we'll do best out of three. You have best so, out of three? Yeah, sure. There's a yeah. character lock. Should we do character? Oh no, no we, character lock. No, no, we we, we <laughs> no. shouldn't do character locks. Yeah, this is a. We should explore no, as we much. We need the element game of surprise. Awesome. Yes. All right. Okay. Since I won the first time, I'm gonna do <laughs> oh, my tournament. Go big or go I, home. I can't switch characters. Oh, you switch characters. Okay, okay. So you're going. You keep going. Yeah, okay, so yeah, since, since you lost the first time, you know, you, you, you get that privilege. You get, <laughs> when, you, when you lose, you get to change your characters. Yeah, you, yeah that, so that's the thing. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so for those who don't play in tournaments, when you lose a match, you get to pick. You, you gotta to yeah, switch up your characters, character. and the winner usually has to keep their character. They have to stay. And in some games, mm -hmm. they're allowed to switch around their assists or their um, special <laughs> moves, like uh, stuff like that. But uh, in anime games, there's usually no such thing. And in this game, you can't select your assists. Yeah. So it's a little. You can't select them, but they have an option of three. So I know, like in games like Marvel, you have to, you can select your assists, but in this game, you already have three available for you from the get go. So. Blue fifty six one says Jonah, stop being tournament mode. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I I try I try. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have range now. I'm a new character. Because in arcade, if you win, you can't switch characters. Right now. Yeah, right in the good old days. Rest in peace, all those arcades that are now no longer here with us. <laughs> yeah, I just visited Japan the other month. They, 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 they still have ton of arcades there. Yes, they do. They, there, there used to be a, a, an arcade nearby called Arcade Infinity that I used to go to when I was a little uh, Oh yeah, rip. Yeah, rip, rip that. It's all, so, it's all shout outs now. to that. And also Japan Arcade, shout out to that too. The guys are local in LA, those were two arcades that I, I used to go to all the time. Oh, that one was really good. Oh, got you. Double jump, but that was scary. <laughs> oh. Can you please ask player two to pick? No, we're there. this is serious mode, so they can <laughs> pick whoever they want now. This is best out of three. Whoever wins this gets... Um, can I get the right poster right. on the wall? You want <laughs> <laughs> I definitely want that my poster on the wall. Uh, that is definitely a good. Oh. Ooh. Now she has a really good air dash. Yes, she does. It, it's mostly Combo. it's mostly her normal. That's, that's like a good part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're trying to mix me up. You're trying to mix me up. I said, oh, oh, wow, that normal is. I think we have some subs in here um, with the emotes with, with the. Hot doggy mode. Shout out to you guys. Jump in on me. <laughs> I got a cross up. Oh, the Yuki does He has a really good throw, Westwood. So this is what it looks like when two pros play this game. Oh, I've been I've been Got playing with like a lot of uh, other people. <laughs> this game. Oh shoot. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, nice. You know I'm gonna do it again. Man. <laughs> no gap. There is a gap, but oh, it's there, oh okay. Yes, it's fine. Can you confirm that some of the some of the gaps are the same, like the like as from a uh, Uni or a Persona? Like, uh, what do you mean by gaps? <laughs> I mean well, within combos. Uh, do you mean by strings or like? Yeah. It? Um. Since the revert beat system is still here, the same strings that were mashable before, they're still mashable, aren't they? Oh, okay. Like, if you reverse beat into something that's, like, far away, like, for example, that move where he does the, the, the pullback with his scythe, that normal was actually a special, <laughs> and now it's his 5BB, which, uh, like, by pressing 5B twice, mm -hmm. it, that move will come out instead, where he'll, like, yank you backwards. Yank you back and because it's a normal, he can reverse beat it now. So he can do, like... 
five C or no, that's five B now. That giant Scythe slam. He can do that into this into the yank into his two A, which is his jab, which allows him to continue pressure if the opponent is too scared to hit a button. But if the opponent calls it out, they can uh, press a button and assert their advantage on him, like he did several times because he played Unio before and he was probably <laughs> aware that like, oh, he's reverse beating here. I can just mash here. And I don't have to worry about that. Are you are you pondering your character choice? Oh, it's oh. over. You won. Yeah, I, oh, oh, yeah, that's the best of three. Yeah, it's it's best of three. Oh, yeah, you're right. And so our you're champion right. okay. for today's episode <laughs> is Jonah here. Uh, we're gonna cut to a quick trailer of a uh, the Blaze Blues rhythm game. Um, eat, beat, dead spike song. It's, just, I, I, I it's played, a long. I, you played it? I played it. Yes. Okay, we'll talk about it in a bit. Well, we'll cut to the trailer <laughs> it, right it now, is very and then. Fun. Uh, We'll come back and sit down at the table and we'll talk about some Blaze Blue and we'll talk about uh, Eat Beat. Awesome. All right. Like so it. Catch you guys in, uh, in a minute or two. Yeah. And there you have it, guys. I'm pretty yeah. sure. I actually never knew that um, that there was a, a rhythm game, a Blaze Blue <laughs> rhythm game, until just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And so, but yeah, it looks it's super cute. Um, so, someone like uh, Dead Spike Son. Um, I would, I would never expect him out of all characters, if he's, if he's even a character, to even have like his own title. He's not. Yeah. So, <laughs> he's <laughs> he, a projectile. He's, he's, a, <laughs> he's a projectile, but. Um... He's actually kind of uh, he's kind of a you know a character in kind of, like yeah. in, so in Japan in fan art and stuff mm -hmm. they like Dead Spike and they even call oh, him Dead I Spike see. Son and they yeah. do art so, of him. It's so, kind of like Bullet Bill from Mario, you know. Yeah, he yeah, he's like little... he he made him, <laughs> like you know the fans made him a character. No, oh, that's in cool. a sense. <laughs> yeah, a character. And there are you know Arc System Works is given to the fans there, but uh, if you like rhythm games, you like Blaze Blue, that game is gonna be out on the Switch um, tomorrow. So, um, if you want to go play some, you know, if you're Hank Green for, to play some uh, cross tag battle or some new Blaze Blue, but you know, you, you can't have the game yet because obviously not out yet. But you can pre order it. Yes, um, you but can. yeah, I this Spike Son is out, um, gonna be out on the Switch tomorrow, and it's also available for Android and iOS uh, mobile devices. So, yes, I, so it's been out on iOS for a long time, actually. And you actually played it, right? Yes, yeah. I have. I actually played it like when I was in high school. <laughs> it was like, I think it was like four, like, it was like in um, CP era. So mm. like, how long ago was that? Was that like four or five, five years five, ago? It's about five years ago, yeah. Is that yeah, four so, years ago? So Jonah's younger than the rest of us, so high school wasn't as long ago for him as it was for I'm, me. I just turned 21, <laughs> so I, I guess so, maybe. I'm yeah, officially so an adult. Three or four years ago, maybe. Three or four yeah. years ago. That might sound like suck. high school. People are like, hmm, that could be either like... 15, 10 years ago, or I could be like three years ago. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah you never It wasn't know. that long ago, it was a couple <laughs> years ago. 
Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. So um, I, I remember it very vividly. I pl- I remember down. I remember seeing it. I was like, oh, a new Blaze Blue game on my phone. Sick. Or, no, I remember it was actually. Oh my god, it was like really early in high school. Actually, now that I think about it, so it, was <laughs> even, it was even before that. But uh, no, I remember going on my way home. And I was, and I saw that on the app store. I was like, "Oh, a new Blaze Blue game! Oh, okay, I'm gonna download it." And I played it, and uh, it was interesting. It wasn't exactly what I expected, but it was, it was a game. Yeah, it was I, a game. I got to play all the all the Blaze Blue songs all nice. on a on a one a really easy one beat rhythm game. And it's it's cool because like there's obstacles and stuff like that. So it's like a platformer. It's a platformer rhythm, rhythm game. game. Yeah. It's kind of it's a little weird, but it it, it can be fun. And uh, is it how much does it cost on the Switch? How much is it? Hmm. I don't. It was free on iOS, but I think you had to buy extensions. I don't remember. It just said it has been that long. After all, I remember walking home from school with that. So <laughs> that has definitely been a very long time for that. <laughs> I don't know what the pricing for it is now. If... It must have been fun for to tear you away from your PSP Blaze Blue portable, though. Oh yeah, I did that. Yes, I've I've been I the majority of my practice time in VV has has been on a, a Vita or a PSP. And you, and you know those really like those really crappy looking like Blaze Blue PSP ports? I pl- I played those a lot. <laughs> I, I, rem- I <laughs> so remember playing those. If it was good enough lot. to tear them away from that, it must be good enough to be on the Switch and worth buying. Okay. Oh, wow. So, yeah. if yeah, um, the game is going to be a uh, 6.99 on Switch. Okay. So, there you yeah, go. That's a very reasonable. It's a very way, reasonable. To, way to turn my my story around into a marketing point. Yeah. You know, I think you're back <laughs> for this thing. Yeah, there you go. I <laughs> yeah, mean, yeah. Jonah, Jonah seems to really like the game. If you're a hardcore like Blaze Blaze Blue fan, I'm pretty sure you'll appreciate all the the music and, and stuff. And we had a question earlier if it, if it's are the remixes or is it like the original songs? They're original songs. So yes, uh, both of them, both of them. The remixes and the original. Oh, from the game. Both in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, the other thing, uh, the game I'm also looking forward to is there's a Blaze Blue mobile game in development right now, and it's uh, it's called Blaze Blue uh, Dark War, I believe. Alternate Dark. Oh, War. we had somebody talk about that on. on uh, yes, on the really, I'm yeah. pretty excited about that. It's supposed to be a mobage game, so uh, <laughs> so go have fun with that if you have a lot of money to spare, and uh, go try to roll that five star. Ragna, Jin, Noel. <laughs> Although I, I read in uh, the forum that uh, if you um, pre-register like if you like sign up for the game in advance like through the japanese website you get a free four star noel so oh maybe, wow. maybe you can get on that look more into that but uh <laughs> i don't know anything much past that i don't even know what kind of game it is they have really well, absolutely we, we no- can let you know right after the stream oh really yeah oh okay all so, right i'll be sure i'll be sure to <laughs> that one then but yeah um a lot of people were asking about the unicodes um should we should we give out the the, the codes so we'll announce the winners right now. I think we should. Think yeah. All right. I think they waited long enough through our rambles. But before that, um, just letting you guys know <laughs> <laughs> that I, uh, you can pre-order Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle right now on Amazon and GameStop. It's worth something. Um, isn't it? hmm? It's worth something, isn't it? Sitting, Wait, the... sitting through us talking. Sin throw what? S- sitting through us talking like that. Oh, yeah. I think so. It's <laughs> worth a Eunice code. Yeah, they, I think so. I think four of them, actually. I think it's worth a lot of them, actually. All right. But yeah. Now, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll announce them now. Okay, so um, we'll, uh, we'll actually go down. Um, I'll, 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 I'll start off, actually. Um, so the first winner, um, again, this is uh, Under Night in Birth, the, the latest edition for PS4. This is what these codes are for. Um, so if you don't have a PS4, you can do whatever you want with the code. You can give it to a friend. Get a PS4 or whatever, but um, winner number one is Lord Bonkai. So congratulations, right. Lord Bonkai! Great, yeah. You are the first winner for the uh, Uni for PS4. We'll have a uh, we'll you say uh, winner number two. You know, I'm not sure if it's right. Please correct me if it <laughs> is. Uh, let's see, Talios one one two. Tally. Talios, Talios, one one two or one yes, twelve, right. I think or that's, yeah, one hundred and twelve. Yeah, I think <laughs> all, I think all these people should get like a VIP access to Fighting Breaker, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he is, is that a prize? Yeah, it's a he. You are you've been the champion in SoCal Unis tonight. In well, that sounds like a punishment, time. though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll, we'll have you announce a uh, uh, winner number three. What's better than fighting the best? Okay, winner number three is. Mixed pad. Mix. Okay, all right. Yeah, mixed yeah, pad. There you go. Okay. I wonder if he's a he's a pad player, or yeah. if it's like if that's just like his his like stream name on Twitch. Maybe he just streams at home or 
It's like whose pad is it? It's Mick, Mickey's pad. It's, it's Mickey's <laughs> pad. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. So <laughs> you never know where you get names from, because uh, you know, being in the FGC for a while, there are some very interesting tag names and some equally interesting origins. And yours. interesting people trying to change their tags after years of being called one thing. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'll give it up for uh, for Mick's pad. Yeah. yeah. And we, got, we have one more winner. All right. Well, that's uh, yeah. so only one, one more. more. Is that an R? Okay. No, uh, I think that's a Z. No, or wait, oh no, no, no oh, oh that, no, yeah, I yeah. think that's an R, yeah. Okay, okay, so it's, uh, the final winner of the code is Raz148. Or Razzy148. Yeah, R-A-Z-Z-E. Yeah, however you 148. So, that is, uh, your, you have the, the last code. So, congratulations. Yeah. yeah. Um, congratulations to all of our winners, Lord Bankai, Talios112, Mixpad and Raz 148.